Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ledgewood Garage. My name is Evan, and today we're going to be doing some work on my daily driver. Uh, we need to replace some shock absorbers, and then I've got a front sway bar link that's broken. Uh, but in order to do that, we've got to back the burb out of the shop so that we have room to do our work. I don't want to sit in the garage and try and uh, do it in there. We've got a shop, we're going to use it. So I'm going to get you guys set up. Swap out the collars, we're going to get our hands dirty. Stay tuned. Okay, so we've got the truck jacked up, I've busted these all loose, and we'll uh, I'll grab a tire iron and finish taking this off, and we'll be able to get to uh, the front sway bar link and then the shocks. Well, the catcher and luck prevails. Twisted both of those off. So I went with uh, just the regular Monroe standard replacement.
one thing everybody was saying was to have this pointed up. So this is definitely not a how-to video. This is a watch this guy who's uh, never replaced shocks before. Replaced shocks kind of video. Take that back. I did help my cousin replace struts and one shock on his Toyota Tacoma. I'll put a link to that because that was that was kind of fun watching us struggle. We struggled for a long time. Sway bar bracket. Okay, um, I did realize my battery had died, but that's okay because this was a straight up booger to get. Um, I had to do something that I've never done before. Used a, used a cutting tool. Um, so we just hacked the mother off. And now I've, I've got to get uh, the bushing. And then the rest of us just slide out. And this has taken much, much longer than I had anticipated. Um, I know I've got terrible, terrible luck when it comes to doing anything remotely mechanical or automotive related. I did not hang around the shop or the garage near enough with my dad when I was young. So everything, everything that can go wrong will go wrong. You know what? 30 minute hour job, ah, half a day. So we've only got one one uh, corner, that's all we're gonna get to today. It's getting, starting to get dark out and well, I'm just tired. There. Holy moly. Yeah. So, and you can see that's where I cut it. And I mean, even this, you know, it's just all blech, rusted together. So we got the new one.
throw this on. get the other jack and push this up. Okay, so we got that tightened up. I am going to throw this wheel on, torque it down, and call it a night. Uh, hopefully tomorrow will go much faster. I know when we worked on uh, my cousin's Tacoma, um, what, what took us three hours to change one strut was, was 15 minutes uh, on the second one, and then of course tomorrow we've also got the back shots to do as well. Um, so. We're going to throw this on, button it up, call it a night. One of the few things I do remember about working the shop with my dad was the star pattern, tightening everything up. Tighten these to 80. I believe that's what we're supposed to tighten the lug nuts to, but I will double check my numbers just to make sure. All right, that's it for tonight. Tomorrow we'll tackle the other side, which actually has the broken sway bar link. So, uh, this has already happened, so hopefully it'll be easier to get off and uh, do the other shock and then on to the back. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey everyone, welcome back. So it's uh, the next day and we've decided to try and get the, the front stuff done. Um, hopefully I'll have enough time to do the rear. Uh, I started kind of late, been, been kind of a lazy day. Uh, but I've got the wheel off already and... Um, We've got this inner liner pulled out. It was kind of a pain and it broke in a couple of spots. Uh, but right here, you can see the sway bar link uh, just completely split. Um, so this was what I struggled with yesterday. Uh, this bolt right here, which runs all the way through, was just seized in this casing. Um, you, can, you can see right there, it's just all all solid through there. Um, it just corroded together. So um, hopefully today I'll be able to get the bolt at the bottom of this off and then this should just pry right out once I get the the bushing off. So um, getting the shock done first and then we'll get that sway bar link and then it's going to be off to the back which hopefully shouldn't take too long. Um, these things have been soaking overnight with some uh, blaster 
um, penetrating oil, so hopefully it'll be all right. Got my pry bar just in case. about to get this off finally. It's been a few minutes rounding the nut, but I got it placed up against the inner fender well right here and it's been bracing and holding. And so instead of loosening the nut up there, I've been twisting the shock down here. So pro tip, Takes a lot less energy to move one wrench than holding two. All right, there. Okay, so we got everything buttoned back up, uh, got all the nuts tightened down, got the new sway bar link uh, all connected, and uh, got all the, all the nuts tightened down. Um, it was hard to get to the, the bolts and nuts over here. That boot made it difficult to get my wrench on. Um, this inside bolt while I was tightening up at the bottom, but uh, it looks all nice and uh, new and we'll uh, We'll get this button back on It's old so it tore here and tore through there um, So we'll we'll try and get that fixed up get the wheel put back on and then it's on to the back and hopefully it'll be much easier because this was uh, quite difficult. <laughs> All, right. All right, so we're underneath the rear of my 99 Mercury Mountaineer. Um, 
I'm currently sitting where the spare tire is. Uh, the driver's side rear shock is the one that we're going to start with. Uh, we've got the big nut and bolt at the bottom, and then uh, these two little nuts um, up here, really hard to get to. I can reach through uh, right there. Um, so that's why I'm starting with this one first, get, one, get the hard one out of the way. Um, and then on the driver's side, um, access is, is pretty good right there. So uh, we'll try and finish with the easier one because um, it's just been, this has not been fun. This has uh, not been easy for me. Um, so hopefully we'll, we'll end something with something easier. All right, so uh, I'm going to put you guys down and get to it. So we've got the bottom bolt in. And we are tightening the top bolts now uh, with the new hardware. The bolt actually has a head on it so that we can get a socket on there. And we can tighten it. So we finally got the top all buttoned up, and now we're just snugging up this bottom bolt. I'm sure there's a torque spec somewhere, but we're just going to wrench it on down nice and tight. off on it. I think this one's yeah. there we go. that backwards. Well, I am going to get the top bolts buttoned back up, tighten everything down, and call it a night. Uh, tomorrow we will uh, make sure that I got all the lug nuts tightened up right, and we'll go for a quick ride and see how everything feels. Come back and check and make sure that uh, all the connections are still good. All right, so 
Uh, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, day three tomorrow. All right, we'll see you. Hey everyone, welcome back to day three of the shock absorber install on my daily driver 1999 Mercury Mountaineer. Now, uh, we also replaced the front sway bar links because uh, the passenger side had broken, making a really nice clunking noise. Um, so I decided, well, since I gotta do that, I figured I needed new shocks. Uh, the tires had started cupping on this thing. Now that partly could have been due to me missing some uh, tire rotations uh, in the course of my ownership when I first took this thing over. Um, but the shocks, uh, I do believe, were the original ones uh, that came out of the factory. And you could take the car and push on the side and you could, you could watch it just jiggle for a bit uh, after you had let off. So I figure it's probably time to do shocks as well. So we went ahead and, and bought those. Um, so day three is uh, just testing it out. Um, in my short drive so far to get gas, uh, everything seems a little bit better, seems a little bit tighter. Uh, it, you know, it just seems um, better overall. Um, we are going to go to a, a place by the city park uh, where people can go and dump leaves and, and shrubs and uh, branches and stuff like that. There's a, a pretty steep little inclined hill that often gets uh, rutted out from the rain. So we are going to head over there and uh, hopefully it's, it's washed out a little bit so that we can get this thing really rocking and see how it see how it reacts uh, so just sit back and relax Here we are. Uh, it doesn't look like it's that bad. Some bumps, but nothing, nothing too washed out. It's just a short little hill. Yeah, it's not as bad as it normally is. It definitely feels much better than it has before coming up here. Definitely more controlled. All right, well, thanks for taking this ride with me. Thanks for uh, watching me struggle to replace these shocks and the sway bar links. Um, I hope you guys will stick around. Um, we've got some stuff coming up here as soon as uh, it turns back to spring. Uh, we'll be taking the burb to cars and coffee and cruise-ins and car shows and uh, hopefully being able to get out there and meet with you guys and, and see your rides and check them out and uh, hopefully do some reviews of your cars. So uh, thanks for clicking on this thumbnail, watching the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. All right, thanks everybody.